in the living room. Ah,、uh, finally, summer vacation. I've worked so hard all year. I really want to go somewhere fun during this break.、Huh? What's that noise? Is someone else in the house? Could it be a thief? I need to check it out. The noise is coming from Uncle Humbert's room.、Huh? Uncle Humbert. Oh, Leo, are you home from school? What do you do with a baseball bat? Um, I heard a noise in your room, so I thought there was a thief. <laughs> What are you doing? You're home early from work. Why are you packing? Oh, Leo, you startled me. I didn't expect you home so soon. I'm getting ready for a business trip. I'll be gone for a few months. A few months. Wow. So, where am I supposed to stay? I was thinking, since I'll be away, you could stay at my friend's house for a while. Thanks, Uncle Humbert. But since I'm on summer break, I was thinking of visiting my dad for a bit. You know, catch up and all. Um, there's something you should know. Your dad, he's remarried and has a new son now. I'm concerned you might feel out of place or even get bullied. It's all right. I understand the situation, but I'll only be there for a few months, and I believe his new family will treat me well. If you're sure about this, I'll contact your dad. Thanks, Uncle Humbert. No problem. I just want what's best for you. I know you do, and I really appreciate that. But really, I think it'll be good for me to reconnect with my dad. It's been a while since we spent any significant time together. Well, I respect your wishes, but if anything happens, please contact me. Yeah, I will, but it's only for a couple of months. What could go wrong, right? I just worrying about how his new wife and son will treat you. You know how these things can be sometimes. I get it, but I'm ready to face it. I can handle myself. You've grown up so much. Just promise me if things get tough, you'll call me. I'll come back if you need me. I promise. And hey, maybe this will be a good thing. Maybe I'll get to know my dad's new family, and we'll all get along. All right. I'll call your dad tonight, and let him know you're coming. From here, picking up your father's house will be quite a distance. I'll take you there. Well, there's no need. I can take a taxi myself. Is that okay? I worrying when you go alone. Nah, don't worry about me. Focus on your trip. It'll be fine. Okay, I'll miss you, kid. Take care of yourself. Okay. You too. Safe travels. A few days later. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're. I'm Leo. Oh, please come in. Thank you. This way. Oh, you must be Leo. Um, hello. I'm Vera, your father's wife. It's so nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. Where's my dad? He's not home from work yet. But come in, make yourself comfortable. The maid will show you to your room, so you can put away your luggage. She seems really nice. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. What the heck, Tom? I've told you many times not to throw the ball around. It's very dangerous. Please. What's going on? This is my room. Who is this brat? Um, this is Tom, your brother. This is Tom's room now. Hey, you! Get out of my room. What? Where's my stuff? Dang it! Why is your son in my room? Tell him to go to another room. Um, but that's been Tom's room for the past five years. I don't care. I just want my room. I am sorry. You arrived so suddenly, and we didn't have time to prepare a proper room for you. You know, this house only has a few rooms. Oh, there's a room in the attic. You could stay there temporarily. The attic? No way. That was my room, and I want it back. Please try to understand. We didn't have enough time to make other arrangements. Tom is very young and needs a room close to us. That's not my problem. 
I want my room back. I'm not sleeping in the attic. What's going on here? Honey, you're home. Leo just arrived and he's upset about his room. Dad, my room has been taken. I want it back. Leo, you've just come back after nearly 10 years. But you're already causing trouble with your stepmother. But my room. Stay in the room with Tom. No way. I can't share a room with the kid. If you don't agree, then sleep on the sofa. Dad. I don't have time to please you. Dad is so biased. He has a new family. Now, just a surplus person. Fine, I will stay in the room with that kid. In Leo's and Tom's room. All right, kid, we're going to have to share the bed. So, this side is mine, and that side is yours. This is my room. You're the one stealing my space. What? I'm not stealing anything. This was my room long before you were even born. No, it's mine now. You're the one who's not supposed to be here. Listen, I had this room first. I'm just back for a few months. Can't we make this work? No, go away or my robot will beat you. Uh? Hey, that's my old robot. I used to play with that when I was your age. No, it's mine now. You know, that robot only listens to me. If you make me mad, it might get upset and you while you sleep. No, it won't. Oh, it will. You don't want to see it angry. Really? Yep. So, if you don't want to get on its bad side, you'll let me sleep here without any more fuss. Fine, you can sleep here, but don't let the robot eat me. Nah, gotta see your expression. Boys, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, let's go eat. And remember, be nice to the robot. Please don't eat me. Leo, protect me. In the dining room. Mommy, help me. What's wrong? He said the robot would me. I never told you, don't lie. Mommy, please get him out of here. Shut up. How dare you talk to your brother like that? But he steals my room. No buts. He's a liar and a bully. I don't want him here. Make him leave. Calm down. Vera, you've spoiled Tom too much. He needs to learn some respect. Tom, if you keep being rude to your brother, there will be consequences. Tom, keep quiet. We'll talk later. Now it's dinner time. No, if he were here I wouldn't have dinner. He is spoiled, Dad. Shut up. That's it. Tom, you're not having dinner tonight. I hate you all. Tom, go to your room right now. This isn't fair. I'm sorry, Leo. This isn't how I wanted your first night back to be. It's okay, Dad. Your brother just needs some time to adjust. I know. I want you to move back here permanently. I'm only here for a few months, Dad. I'll go back to Uncle Humbert's after the summer. Humbert has his own life to live. He can't take care of you forever. You're right. It's just a lot to take in. But I'll think about it. Good. Now, let's try to enjoy what's left of our dinner. In Tom's room. Mom, why don't you protect me? Mom, don't you love me anymore? Tom, you must control yourself. If you make Dad angry, M.O.M. won't be able to protect you. Mom hates me already. Both Mom and Dad like Leo. No, I still love you. I hate Leo. He stole everything from me. You have to hold back a bit. In just a few months, we'll find a way to kick Leo out, okay? Okay. I'm so hungry. I'll order your favorite pizza and sneak it to you. Okay, but you have to send Leo away soon. I don't want to be robbed of my parents' love. Mum understands. M.O.M. promised to find a way. The next day. Um, Dad, can I have some money? Hum, for what? Um, to buy drawing tools. Drawing? Yep. No, Leo. Drawing is a waste of time. You need to focus on something more practical. But Dad, I really like drawing. I signed up for a drawing contest. And I need the tools to start my entry. K. 
cancel it. I will sign you up for a math class instead. I don't want to do math. I want to draw. I don't have time for this nonsense. You'll do as I say, or you'll be grounded. Understand? It's not fair. You never listen to what I want. Focus on something useful. Don't wasting time on silly drawings. They're not silly. Drawing is important to me. I have to work now. I don't want to hear another word about this. Oh, he always forces others to do his will. Uncle Humbert is still the best to me. I will call him and ask for some money. Come on, why doesn't he answer the phone? Maybe he's busy with work. Is something bothering you? Yeah, I need money to buy painting tools. Dad refused to give me any. I was hoping to borrow from Uncle Humbert, but he's not picking up. How much do you need? I can give you some. Oh my God, really? I promise to pay you back. You don't need to pay me back. I'll give it to you. But right now, I need to go out for a while. You can go to my bedroom and take the money from the drawer. Thank you so much. By the way, can you take care of Tom for me? Our maid took leave today. Okay, just leave it to me. All right, take care, Leo. I'll be back soon. Goodbye. In Vera's and Harry's room. Here it is. I'll just take a little money to buy painting tools. What are you doing in mom and dad's room? None of your business. I need to go out and buy some things. Wanna come with me? Nope. I hate you. I don't want to go anywhere with you. Fine. Stay at home and I will be back soon. Today Rob gave Emily a bracelet. She was happy, so she agreed to go out with him. Ugh, that brat dares to flirt with my crush. I can't lose to him. My mother has a lot of beautiful jewelry. Maybe I can find something nice for Emily. She's going to love this. <laughs> it's evening, and the family is getting ready to go out to a luxury restaurant. Dad, I'm hungry. Mom's still not ready? She always wears makeup for a long time. It's probably almost done. Vera, are you almost ready? We don't want to be late. Just a minute, D. The diamond necklace. It's gone. What do you mean, gone? I found it in the drawer this morning. But now it's missing. Oh, maybe it just fell somewhere. I'm sure we'll find it. Maybe it just got misplaced. I always keep it in the same place. It was there this morning. I'm sure of it. I gave it to Emily. If mother knew it was me who took it, I would be spanked. Um, Mom, I saw Leo in your room this morning. Maybe he took it. Oh no! What? I didn't take it. Were you in our room this morning, Leo? Yep, but I didn't touch the necklace. Leo got it, Dad. Maybe he sold it for money. After he came out of your room, he went out to buy things. No, it is not. What did you buy? And nothing. Here they are, Dad. Then how did you get money for those painting supplies, huh? I, I don't want to reveal that Vera gave me the money. Leo, where did you get the money for those supplies? Did you steal the necklace to buy those supplies? No, why do you ask me that? Leo, <laughs> please give it back to me. This bracelet is a gift from your father to me. I can't lose it. Huh? I do not get. Come on. I gave you money to buy painting tools. And you also stole my necklace. I'm so disappointed in you. No, I didn't steal. I swear. Leo, if you don't tell the truth, you'll be grounded. Until you admit what you did. I didn't take it. I swear. He's lying, Dad. He must have taken it. Shut up, brat. Ouch. That's my stuff. Pay me back. That's enough. The things you bought with the money you stole are not yours. Leo, you're grounded until you confess. I told you. I didn't take the necklace. Why don't you believe me? We're going out to dinner without you. No, Dad. Vera, Tom, let's go. This is unfair. 
I don't want to be here anymore. I'll call Uncle Humbert to come pick me up. Oh, hello, Mrs. Collins. What brings you here? Good evening, Vera. I came to return this. Where did you find that? I noticed Emily wearing it and asked her where she got it. She said Tom gave it to her. Tom? Huh? Is this true, Tom? Yes. Um, I came to return it. Looks like you guys are getting ready to go out. I'm leaving. Um, thank you. Bye. Tom, it was you all along. You let Leo take the blame for your mischief. I'm sorry. I just want Emily to love me. Being naughty and lying about your brother. This is unacceptable, Tom. Mommy. Come here. You must be punished. Mom, help me. It's okay, honey. Tom is still young. He doesn't understand everything yet. Anyway, the necklace came back to me. Ooh, best friend should teach him carefully. Okay, okay. Now, let's go eat. Wait, you guys just leave like that? What about me? Oh, we're truly sorry. We were wrong to suspect you. Apologies aren't enough. You can't just slightly scold him and expect everything to be okay. Come on. He is just a kid. I don't care. He must be punished. He must be grounded for a month. No playing with friends. No TV. No toys. No. Mommy, I don't want to be punished. Leo, you're too much. If you don't punish him, I won't go out to eat with you. Fine. If you don't want to go, that's fine. Let's go. Aww. Loser. Ugh. I can't stay in this house anymore. I'll call Uncle Humbert to pick me up. A few days later, in the park. I called Uncle Humbert, but he said it would be a few days before he could come pick me up. I have to stay with those hateful people for a few more days. I will try to endure that. Hey, Leo. What do you want, Tom? Take that. <laughs> oh no! Dang it. Tom, stop it. Why? It's fun. I said stop. You're going to ruin my drawing. Oops. Did I get your painting wet? I told you to go away. Ha ha ha. It's wet now. Huh? I'm gonna tell mom and dad. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Just leave me alone. They will beat you. They will never like a mean son like you. You brat. Now go away before I really lose my temper. You finished. Hey, don't run around. Ugh, he won't listen to me. Leave him alone. After all, his mother is nearby. He ruined my mood. I'll find another place to draw. Oh, I miss you so much, babe. Come on, why did you come here? What if my husband finds out? You said you came here alone with your son. That old guy must be at home reading the newspaper. But it is not good to be here. Oh, my God. Who is that man? Vera is having an affair. I need to get a photo and show it to Dad. What are you doing, Leo? Shh, be quiet, Tom. Why should I? I'm going to tell Mom. You're done. Dang it. I have to go now. Mom, Mom. Tom, why are you here? Come play with Leo. No, he broke my water gun. You should deal with him. He is over there. Oh, where is he? Leo was here. Yeah, he was. But he ran away. Probably scared you'll scold him for breaking my water gun. Oh shit, my husband's son was here. He must have seen us. This is bad. Don't let him tell Harry. Dang it. I have to go home before Leo does. Tom, let's go home. No, I want to play here more. No, come with me. At home. Dad, I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Huh? Leo, go upstairs. I have something private to discuss with you. He has something to say to me first. You can wait a moment. No, he broke Tom's water gun. I need to discipline him right now. 
Dad, I saw Vera cheating on you with another guy. What? No, that is not true. Leo, I know you've hated me since I wrongly accused you of stealing my necklace. But I apologized for that. Don't slander me now. Tom told me that Leo had just arrived at that time. So he probably didn't have time to take pictures. I'm not slandering you. Dad, look at this. What the hell is this, Vera? Who is that man? It's not what it looks like. He's my cousin. Your cousin? Cousins don't hug like that. How long has this been going on? How dare you do that to me? I made money to support you and you dare cheat on me. Stop it. Mom, Dad, stop. Ooh, I want a divorce. This is unforgivable. No, please. We can work through this. Think about Tom. I promise not to contact that guy again. Please give me another chance. No way. I'll raise Tom myself. Huh. You'd better go out of here as soon as possible. This is all your fault, Leo. You made them fight. Nah, they deserve this. It's the consequence of their actions. Ugh, please stop them. Why should I? I have to do something. If you don't stop them, I will leave home. Huh. And where will you go? You're only five years old. You don't dare. I will do it. Mom, Dad, if you don't stop arguing, I'll leave. Tom, wait. It's dangerous. Tom, no. Hang on, baby. This is not my fault. The kid suddenly ran out in front of my car. We need to get him to the hospital now. At the hospital, outside the emergency room. Oh, Tom, my poor baby. How could this happen? Vera, please, we need to stay calm and focus on Tom's recovery. It's because of you. If you hadn't come into our lives, Tom wouldn't be in this situation. Don't blame me for this. It's because of your affair that Tom ran out into the street. Return Tom to me. Enough. We can't argue here. Let's just find out how Tom is doing. Who's here for Tom? We, we are. are. How is he? How is our son, doctor? He's critically anemic and needs a blood transfusion immediately. What do we need to do? We need to conduct blood tests to find a suitable donor. Time is of the essence. We'll do whatever it takes. Please, save our son. Later. Blood test results are available. I'm sorry, but neither of your blood types match Tom's. We need to find a donor with the same blood type as soon as possible. Are you sure? We're his parents. How can our blood not match his? Maybe there's a mistake. Can you double check the results? I assure you, the results are accurate. We need to act quickly to save Tom's life. This hospital is so stupid. Get tested again. I think the person who needs to be tested is you. Who knows? Maybe you're not the patient's father. You. This doesn't make sense. Um, I'll make some calls. Let me try. Who are you calling? Is there something you're not telling me? Harry, I, I need to make a call. Tell me the truth. Is there someone else who could be Tom's father? Yes, Harry. I'm sorry. But I had an affair with someone else. He could be Tom's biological father. What? I cannot believe this. All this time. I've been raising someone else's child without even knowing it. I never meant for this to happen. Please, Harry, forgive me. Do, Leo, let's go home. We have no more business here. Yeah, Dad. After taking care of Tom, please come and move all your belongings out of my house. Harry, please. Leo, let's go. At home. I can't believe I raised someone else's kid for all these years. Dad, I'm really sorry. Leo, I only have you now. Sorry for making you suffer so much lately. I promise to take better care of you from now on. Who could that be? Let me open the door. Uncle Humbert. Hello, Leo, are you ready? What's going on? Where are you taking Leo? Dad, 
I, I decided to continue living with Uncle Humbert. No, Leo. You can't just leave like this. Harry, this is Leo's decision. He wants to come with me. Wide, stay with me. I can provide you whatever you want. Even if I want to pursue painting? Painting, that's a stupid, useless hobby. You must learn business. No, I don't want that. So that is why I want to live with Uncle Humbert. Come on, stay with me and I will give you my company in the future. That is not what I want, Dad. I will go. This is for the best. I'll come visit, I promise. You ungrateful brat. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me. Hi, what are you doing? Uncle Humbert, it's time to go. I will go get my luggage. Huh? Fine, go. See if I care. You're just like your mother, running off when things get tough. Goodbye, Dad. Take care. First Vera, now Leo. What have I done to deserve this? A few days later, in the hospital. Thank you, Kevin. You saved him. It's nothing. He's my son too. I've divorced my husband. Now we can be together. When can you marry me and welcome us home? Um, I... You home-wrecking witch! How dare you flirt with my husband! What? Who are you? I'm his wife. And I found out about your little affair. Babe, this isn't the place. Don't you dare, Kevin. I came here to drag you back and make sure you end this nonsense right now. I didn't know he was married. He told me he loved me. Of course he did. He's a liar and a cheat. And you fell for it. Babe, please. Let's talk about this somewhere else. There's nothing to talk about. You're coming home with me. I will make sure you leave penniless for betraying me. You bastard. You said we could be a family. I'm sorry, but you need to understand. Huh? No more excuses. We're leaving. Now. What have I done? How did I let it come to this? I have lost everything. That was the price for Vera after all the deception and betrayal she had done. The end. You're not getting away this time, Alan. You should be on my side. Together, we'll rule the multiverse together. You modest, why do you ever want to do that? Come on, Alan. Only you and a thousand different versions of Alan can understand me. No, I would never do such thing. With great power comes great responsibility. That's what our father said. No, not my father. I don't have any father. We're supposed to protect the world. Not like this, Alan. Then we're no longer understand each other anymore. No, you bastard. Come back here. I'll stop you no matter what. It was unintentional when future Alan used the portal to teleport to Anna's world. Well, at least we can finally defeat Sira. I'm so happy that everything is back to normal. Yeah, I'm glad to. Well, well, what's going on? Earthquake. Where we live has never had an earthquake. This is not normal at all. We need to go outside and see what's going on. Well, that can't be good. Oh dear, what is it again? God dang, this is so cool. To break everything. You crazy bastard, stop it now. While Alan and Alan Future are fighting on the sky, destroying the city in Anna's world. On the ground, Anna is saving everyone to get to the safety place, but... Everyone, this way. Hurry. Come on, come on. Keep moving. Don't worry. I got this. Keep going. Everyone, we should hurry. They're fighting near us. Help me. Oh no, I'm coming. Are you okay, kid? It hurt. Okay, I'll take you to the hospital. Anna. Brendan, we need to get out of here before anyone else gets hurt. Jesus, the whole city is falling apart. You have any idea who they are? No clues. I haven't met them before. Okay, just go now. This boy isn't injured. Anna, you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Check on the kid. Kid, are you okay? No, no. It cannot happen to him. I'm sorry. He's gone. There is nothing we can do for him. 
What are we gonna tell their parents? It's all my fault. No, don't blame yourself like that. It's not yours. You're trying to save everyone, remember? No, it's their fault. They have to pay for what they did to our planet. We have to stop them. But what about our original plan? Save the people first. We did, and we failed. If we cannot save our people, we will avenge them. Future Alan, stop everything. You're destroying a world. That's obvious for a planet's life. Sooner or later, a planet will perish. I'm doing a favor for it. You're crazy. There are millions of people living on this. You're not going to do this. Stop me. Try me. No, don't hurt the people. They're innocent. Future Alan. Stop talking. You're too annoyed. Um, what's going on? Alan, where are you? He must have been shot by the army. Haha, ha, screw him. He won't get in my way anymore. Oh my god. What the? Who shot me? Where is future Alan? Dang it. I lost him. I need to stop him. Stop right there. You won't go anywhere. What? Who are you guys? I don't have time for this. I need to stop him. Don't fool us. You're the evil here. Look around here. See what happened. See what you have done to us, to this city. You must pay your life, you kid. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Can apologizing bring that child back to life? Listen, I don't have time for this. I have a bigger threat. I need to stop him. You're the biggest threat here. Pay it. That's enough. Enough, okay? I had enough. I'm not the bad guys, future Alan is. Dang it. He got away. Anna, are you okay? I'm fine. We should come after him. Anna, please. I'm begging you. Don't come after him. There are still many people we need to save in those ruined buildings. He is not worth the hundreds of lives that await us. Okay, fine. Let's help them. If they come back here, we have to stop them once and for all. Okay. I'm with you till the end. Hmm, who is she? I haven't felt the power so strong inside her. Maybe she's much more powerful than me. I don't think I can handle the two of them. I'll find some backup, though. Okay, I will find the version of her. Maybe, the evil version of her. Where am I? Wow, easy girl. Remember me, Annie? What is this place? What do you want from me? What a shame. You're in the time realm. So what are we doing here? I don't have time for this. Do you want to meet a version of yourself? A version of myself? Why? Am I in a parallel universe? Yes, you'll meet her now. I want you to destroy her. God dang it. He never stops doing this. Come with me and we'll see her. No, what about my Earth? Don't worry, you can go back after you won in a fight with your version. Annie, don't make me mad. You don't have any choices. Fine. This was that you're doing? Yeah, I'm about to conquer this planet. Future Alan, stop it. Alan, my best buddy. Wow, he looks like you. Of course, he's the good version. And of course, he's trying to stop me. Who is she? A friend of mine. I guess she's no good either. I will take you both down. There are so many injured people. The hospital won't be able to handle it in time. Too much loss, Brendan? I know. They're doing their best. What the hell is this again? Something happened. I don't think this is earthquake again. Let's go check. Please help me. Oh my god, what happened? Brendan, don't ask him any questions. Maybe he's just pretending. They're coming. You have to be careful. Oh god, he passed out. Should we take him inside? No, we don't have to. We don't even know who he is. Anna, you're being unreasonable. Save lives first. What's wrong with you, Anna? Okay, fine. Take him inside. Later. Ouch, my head. Where am I? Okay, dude, you can start with the first question. Who are you? My name is Alan. 
I have the power to teleport back and forth across the multiverse, but I will never do that. I only did this to stop my evil version, Future Alan. He's the one causing all of this. He wants to conquer all the multiverse, and I must stop him. How can we trust you? Like I said, I'm not the bad guys here. If I want to hurt you, I'd have done before. Hey, I don't know you guys' names yet. I'm Brendan, and this is Anna. So what's up with the hair? What's up with the hair? Sorry, just curious. Does everyone dye their hair rainbow? No, bro. Rainbow hair is the rarest hair. Those who possess rainbow hair are the ones with the most hidden power. So cool. So what happened now? I think we should team up against future Alan. Oh, and there is one girl who just looked kinda like you, Anna. What? How? I'm unique. But I think we should go now. They're doing it now. What are you doing? I am absorbing this planet's energy. Okay, I need you to protect me while I'm doing my job. Fine. Are we there yet? We're close. I can feel his energy so close. We should keep flying now. We're already quite far out of the city. Are you sure we're on the right way? Trust me, I know what future Alan will do to your planet. What is he gonna do to our Earth? He'll absorb it. What do you mean, absorb? Wait, I can feel tremendous power from him. He's very near here. They're here. Prepare to fight. Okay. Future Alan. You talked too much. Who are you? Why are you dressing like Anna? So this is the girl he talked about. You look cool, but I'm cooler. Who are you? Show yourself. What, what the, the hell? hell? But, but how is this possible? You're not real. My name is Annie, and I'm the queen in my Earth. Are you the queen in your Earth too? No. I prefer to be a normal person. Hmm, that's okay. I finally have a worthy opponent. So, what do you say? Shall we have a duel? Anna, don't listen to her. Um, fine. Let's one versus one. I love to see how strong I am in another universe. Cool. Alan, do something. No, I think she got an idea. She lured Annie away so we could have time to deal with future Alan. And now we have to do something to break this energy ball. No, you won't. Not under my watch. Brendan, are you ready? I'm ready. Brendan, follow that ball. I will hold him back. Got it. Not so fast. You're not going anywhere. Brendan, you two can't fight over me. Your fight skill is good. Truly my worthy opponent. Well, I quite had a past. But you know, this is getting nowhere. Can we take a break? You think this is a joke? None of us can get out of this. Annie, why are you doing this? I mean, why are you evil? Said who I'm evil. What you mean? Then why are you fighting against us? I don't have a choices, okay? So what is it? Tell us. Maybe we can help you, Annie. No, you can't. He's too strong. Who? Future Alan. What did he do to you? He controls my life and another thousand living people. Oh my god, who are you? New fresh here. What a planet. This planet is mine now. What the hell are you saying? If you don't listen to me, I'll blow up this whole planet. After that, he saw my potential and spared my life. I have to make a commitment. I have to become his henchman or else my people will be erased. I'm so sorry to hear that. So now we have to kill each other. One of us has to return to him alive. No wait. We can help you, Annie. Let's figure out a way out of this, okay? There is no other way. Just give me a sec. I have a brilliant plan for you. <laughs> Drop him. Now he died because of you, Alan. No, please don't. That's enough, Alan. You don't have to kill him anymore. I defeated Anna. Great. Good job, Annie. I know you can do it. Now we can continue the job. No, Anna. Do it now, Annie. What? Everyone, do it together. What? What's going on? Just do it. What the hell are you doing? This is for my people. Annie, how dare you? I won't let you get away that easily. 
Hayes, this is not gonna easy for me now. Let him come. I'll protect you. Wait, I don't understand. Who's the real Anna? Dishaybag, don't you recognize me? I'm the real Anna here. Haha, <laughs> sorry, because you to look so similar. Anna and I switched our avatars to catch future Alan off guard. Annie is not the bad guy. Future Alan controlled her. She had to do that just to protect her people. Okay, I understand that. Um, can you guys switch back? I'm a little confused. Thank you. Can you bring me back to my Earth? I need to prepare to deal with future Alan. Yes, of course. Hey Annie, don't worry. We're here for you. If he comes, we'll protect your Earth with you. Thank you, Anna. What a pleasure to meet a better version of myself. Me too. Alan, can you open the portal? I'll see you later. I'm sad that I didn't have a chance to get to know her more. She's such a nice person. You'll get a chance soon, Anna. So I hope I'll see each other again in the near future. Now I have to find out what his next move is. Goodbye, Goodbye Alan. Alan. Now we know there is a multiverse. We have to be more careful with what is out there. We should start looking for people who have the same power as us. Okay. Hope we can see Alan and Anna team up in near future again.